Baby Hip Ultrasound Graph Method Tips and Tricks for the Examination. An instructional video in addition to the courses and literature. I would like to share a few tips and tricks with you on how to examine the baby without causing too much stress for the baby, the mother and not to forget the person examining the baby. The doctor guides the mother, he takes the baby and places the baby into the cradle so that the right hip faces the examiner. The mother's right hand is placed on the baby's right shoulder. The mother should not pull on the leg. The baby's leg should be gently pushed down into the cradle and should not protrude beyond the cradle sides. This way the hip is gently internally rotated and the femoral head, neck and trochanta are in the frontal plane parallel to the bolsters of the cradle. The warm jelly is placed onto the baby's skin and not onto the transducer. At the beginning of the examination, the middle and the index finger are straight and parallel to each other. The tip of the thumb touches the tip of the middle finger. In this position, the fingers are gently placed into the jelly on the baby's skin without too much pressure. The transducer is held with the right hand and placed in between the fingers of the left hand. Directly underneath the transducer are the greater trochanter and the hip joint. The transducer is held with the fingertips only. The right hand is placed onto the cradle and the index finger helps stabilize the transducer. The longitudinal axis of the transducer has to be parallel to the sides of the cradle and should not point towards the spine. The correct position is demonstrated here. The transducer is held with the left hand and moved across the hip joint, forwards, backwards, forward, backwards, locating the hip joint. Here we can see that the hip joint is very small with a diameter of 1.5 cm. The center of the acetabulum is marked by the lower margin of the os ilium, which is about 1 to 2 mm in size. Here we can see the ultrasound plane. At first it is important to find the lower margin of the os ilium with parallel movements across the hip joint. When the picture is frozen with the lower limb, you have to decide if your plane is too far ventral in the center or dorsal. It is important to find the central plane which is called the standard plane. If you find looking at the frozen picture that the plane is too far dorsal, the transducer has to be rotated ventrally. With this rotational movement you will lose the lower margin of the oscillium as it is impossible to rotate the transducer exactly around this central point. As the lower margin is now missing again you have to find it through the parallel movements until the lower margin is found and frozen again. The transducer must not be tilted as it will otherwise lead to distortion and misdiagnosis. For this reason you need a third landmark to be sure that no tilting mistake occurs. The first landmark to find is the lower margin, then the middle plane across the center of the cetabulum and thirdly the labrum as an additional landmark. Now the baby has to be turned and the mother's right hand is placed on the baby's left shoulder. The principles are the same for the left hip joint. The examiner's left hand is placed flat on the baby's leg. The greater trochanta can be felt between thumb and index finger. The transducer is placed vertically over the trochanta and moved with the left hand in parallel movements in order to find the lower margin of the ilium. The fingers of the left hand touch the cradle in order to maintain their internal rotation of the left leg. With the finger of the right hand, 
the correction of the plane is done by rotation. And now with parallel movements forward and backwards with the left hand, the lower limb of the osilium is fixed again. When now lower limb and the plane is correct, in this technique the labrum comes automatically. Sonograms are only acceptable for the diagnosis when all the points of the checklist 1 and checklist 2 are visible. If only one point is not visible or incorrect, the sonor should not be taken for a diagnosis.